As we all know, fishing is expensive, but one of my favorite things to do these days is to find some fishing deals. Catching fish, you know it's cool, but catching a deal, whoo! So today we are over here in the parking lot of an Ollie's Bargain outlet. Now, if you're not familiar with the store, it's just like their slogan says, good stuff cheap. They are America's largest retailer of closeout merchandise and excess inventory. And let me just say this, the cool thing is I've been to a couple of these stores before, never been to one in Florida though, so this will be interesting, but they sometimes, most of the time, have a fishing section. So the plan for today, we're gonna go in here, see if they have a fishing section, see what fishing stuff they have, hopefully some stuff, then whatever we buy, we're gonna take out to the water, catch some freaking fish on. Or at least try, try to do that. So let me stop talking, let's get in here. Ollie's, can you do something for me? All right, so again, here's like an example of what, like this is name brand stuff, but it's $2.99 and it's usually $4.99. We got coffee stuff, we got soil, pots, real brands, real bargains. Oh, we got Monop Space Jam Monopoly though. If you need any gardening stuff, you know, maybe hit them up. Oh, dude, everybody needs, everybody needs a butterfly net. I cannot wait one day to have a freaking garden. Kelsey and I planted two little plants on our camper. I got a little cilantro growing, but it'll be cool one day. All right, y'all, we found it. Right there in the middle of everything, the fishing power buy. It says good stuff, cheap. So let's take a look at what we got here. Some jerk baits. What are they going for? $5.99? It says they were $9.90. All right, frogs. Zoom frogs. $7.99. Is that discounted? I'm about to look that up. Okay, yeah, wow. $11.99 at like Bass Pro. I mean, yeah, definitely discounted. What are these? $7.99. Crankbaits, those are a little deeper diving that I'd probably throw. Look at this, that's a big boy. The hollow belly. Jeez, that is a big frog. We got some pink shad scales. This stuff is always here, Ollie's. This is like some scent. $159 for that. Ooh, three pack rooster spinners. $3.99 says their price is $6. Look at these little things, what the heck? $2.99, did you see how tiny it? What the heck is that even for? Jerkbait, that's a really nice looking one right there actually. Again, $7.99, it's almost like they just are like, yeah. $7.99, take it or leave it. Oh, the mega section here. All right, got some frogs, $3.99 for some toads. Oh, here we go. This is what we're looking for. I wonder why these are here, $3.99. It says usually six bucks. Swim baits, five bucks. Oh yeah, I'm gonna look through this real quick. Oh, they got the bubble gum, dude. <laughs> okay, so this is where I'm kind of confused. This whole thing is really cool, full of zoom stuff, but I think like these, some flukes, $3.99. Like that's not that big of a steal. I think they're cheaper at other stores. And like these, I looked it up, this is more expensive than Walmart. I'm trying to be like more inconspicuous too, because this is like right in, out in the open in the middle of everything. I've got kicked out of it, Ali, Ollie's before one time for filming. These, I think I've seen at every Ollie's I've ever been to. This is $8.99, says they're normally $12.99. What? Let's fill with more frogs. That's a pretty cool pop of frog. Frog Central over here. Oh, the little baby frogs. Oh yeah, peep this, we got the crab, crab and bucket. Oh dude, we found, we found it. Ratatouille, one of the most underrated movies right there. These are pretty interesting. Ay ay ay. I gotta be honest, man. As far as inventory goes, this Ollie's kinda got it, but look at this. For a freaking super, this, this feels so cheap. $9.99, this bait bucket. What? It says they're normally $18. Bro, what was that? It's like they had a lot of stuff, especially for Florida, like some good fishing stuff. If you want to go out to a pond and just catch some fish. But why the heck is it so expensive? Like it's like competitively priced. The whole point of Ollie's is to be like cheap. Anyway, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see me go to another one. There's another one that's like the other direction, but that's like really far from here. Maybe we'll hit that up one of these days. I don't know. You guys, I love to find good stuff cheap. Seems like that ain't it. All right, real quick. Here's a look at what we got. Got one of these little frog. I don't know if like I, I'm from Delaware, right? I haven't really fished like this time of the year in Florida, especially this part of Florida. So will bass eat topwater? I don't know. We might find out today. But also Kelsey loves these. 
is like a little bit discounted, so save like 30 cents or something. I don't know where this thing's been. I hopefully it's still edible. Kelsey, I'm on the way. I'm just not so sure anymore, man. I think Ollie is an op now. If you're listening, Ollie, give you one more chance. After that, it's time for diss track. It's just weird because like you think in Florida, especially it's springtime right now, so like a bunch of floors would be out, but there, I mean, there was floors, but deals were not to be had. Today though, we are gonna be going out fishing and uh, we have something back here. You might be able to see it in the background. A new addition to the channel. So if you guys have been following, we kind of have been getting some e-bikes, reviewing them, but we have this truck. And in the back, I have it loaded with a bunch of stuff and uh, we tried to fit some e-bikes kind of in the middle area, but they didn't fit. So what we got right here, this is a Hovsco Hov Beta. This is a foldable e-bike. So basically anytime we need to just put this in and just go, you can put it in a car, truck, wherever the heck you want. This thing should just be able to fold up and freaking go. Especially now that we got this going on, like dude, these e-bikes are saving my life with traveling and going to different ponds and stuff. So we're gonna uh, show you guys real quick. Like, look, look at this thing, it's freaking sick. All right, so here are the pedals. Push it in, fold down. They both do that. And this handlebar, you push in, you pull this thingy down, boom. That comes down like that. There's a latch down here. Push that thing, pull that out. Then this thing just folds in half, like a taco. You can see the size of this thing here. It, I mean, just pick this thing up. The battery's in, so it's a little bit heavier right now, but you can just take that out and just throw it in here. You're good to go. You can fit a couple of these in a car or a truck or whatever, but we're gonna take this thing out, test it for the maiden voyage, and uh, hopefully it's lucky and maybe, you know, Ollie wasn't producing for us, but maybe Pond will. Let's get out there, let's see what the heck. Maybe we can catch the first topwater fish of the year. Let's freaking do it, man. All right, so gearing up ready to go here. We have the frog on a braided line rod and that is what she looks like might trim the uh little legs a little bit here and then we have a different rod that we're gonna bring we've just been going solo rod recently but today i think two fur is gonna be a good one we got worm on there i've got the old chatter that was doing work in the bag and it's kind of like a not super sunny day the sun kind of pops out but if any day i think is gonna be a top water day here in florida this possibly could be it this right here is the battery if you're not familiar with e-bikes Basically they help you like pedal assist and you can just go further and save your legs if you're out fishing or you can use this little thing right here and that helps you go. It's just like a little throttle. Like This is one of them fat tire ones so should be able to take this out on the beach or just terrain that's not, you know, super level. So think you go up to 20 miles per hour and then the, the interesting thing about this bike, right, compared to all the other ones I've tried, this you have to download an app to unlock like the full potential and speed which is kind of interesting and it has this cool little screen right here but yeah we're gonna take this thing out i'm gonna stop talking link down in the description if you guys want to check it out and uh yeah appreciate them for sending it out throttle that up to one Skirt. <laughs> so much fun dude again like you could just bike on a bike like a normal person but these things save you energy time and they are freaking fun <laughs> these things are fun dude All right, if you know, then you know, man. We are at one of these ponds that we've been biking to. We're probably gonna hit up a couple of them unless this one's just crazy. But uh, this pond is magical. Every time I come here, it's like, you, you really never freaking know. All right, so there's the frog. Let's try whipping this around real quick. If you guys haven't been around the channel for a while, if you haven't seen the last video that I was here, basically, there's big freaking bass in here but there's also like some crazy freaking other species of fish. All right, make sure this is good. I haven't used this setup in a long time. Let's give a cast like out in the middle here real quick. I see like a really nice grassy area. I wonder if I could hit that from the bank over there. Give that a rest. Just trying to make this look like a real life frog. But yeah, man, days like today, especially like, got this like overcast. Like it's supposed to rain. I don't know, we could get dumped on any second. Hasn't done that yet, but these are just those days where it's like, just, you know, 
If the fish was to bite top water, I could see it happening today. Try to run this along the bank line along this grass here. Let's see if I can. That's where we want it. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. I don't think I'm gonna throw the frog too much more if we don't get bit. All right, here we go. Something a little more moving. Something a little more realistic. Oh, allergies are freaking cranking. Look at that. That looks beautiful right there. Never tried one of these in this pond. Just let that thing sink down. I tried a few different trees, but come on, man. Something's gotta bite this, right? I don't know what's going on with that worm, but they, they, they just like, they banned the worm. No way. Oh my god. No freaking way. I put this on for funsies. <laughs> no way. Oh, it's another bow. <laughs> what? Dude, that was a freaking 12 inch worm. What on earth? I literally got out a smaller worm out of my bag. I, I don't have like most of my worms. Oh, jeez, dude. But for whatever, whatever reason, <laughs> We got a 12 inch one in the bag. Is this is, ah, oh, jeez. Could really go without, where's my pliers? Where the heck are your bass friends, dude? Oh, I could really go without these, these, these dudes. I was gonna say, I could really go without this dude's teeth. Look at those teeth, man. Ooh, in my skin. All right, first fish of the day. Again, these dudes, crazy looking. They almost look like snake heads. But again, they're not a lot of people mistaken for them. Super cool prehistoric fish. Back in the water, first one of the day. That's not what I was expecting. And I, dude, and now this is what we're dealing with. Dude, what on earth? There we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. He was running so fast I couldn't keep up. Oh, we just freaked up. I just freaked up. Golly. I'm not gonna lie, that one stings, dude. I just wish I could have seen it, seen what it was. I might have been the bass we were after. Well, on to the next one. Oh my gosh. Bro, what the heck was that? That almost looked like a peacock. Okay, we're gonna go back after that. I was just messing around with the broken tip. Oh my God. <laughs> K2 
came back. Okay. Yep. That might have been the one. Finally. Dude, freaking finally. Okay, made sure it was recording there. All right. Well, we used the bait from Ollie's today to find this fish. I'm wondering if this is the one that blew up on us. Literally casted it right over there where we got blown up on. Whew. First one of the day, not, you know, nothing crazy. Definitely nothing tiny either though. I will take it. I, I can't believe you're biting this big old freaking. Oh man. check this out can y'all hear that right now it is currently storming in north florida i hope y'all had a uh, great easter if you guys celebrate such things and basically yeah i'm excited for this new chapter with this new little e-bike it's gonna be cool because as i said we can go to hello <laughs> all right how are you doing? He was just sleeping. But yeah, we could take this thing to new places and um, as always with the boot, you know, boot life, things are hopefully are coming along and my fracture is less stressed. But basically we can take that thing to new places, hopefully new beaches. And uh, yeah, it's nice because now we can actually put two e-bikes and go around and we might be reviewing another one here in the near future. Again, all the links for this down in the description below. Appreciate y'all for sending this out. And um, yeah, man. I will say there was a couple things that didn't come stock with the bike. And also it's interesting. You kind of have to download an app to actually like get the thing going. This e-bike's got some power, man. Like if you hit that throttle, sometimes you'll be like, whew. It's so interesting. Like we have a couple different other ones, but like how different they all are. So yeah, we'll be playing around with these in the future. Again, though, I appreciate y'all all for all the continued freaking support. Honestly, this summer, we're about to go crazy. If y'all do have any uh, suggestions for videos you guys want to see, let me know down in the comment section below. We're going to be doing some traveling. We're going to be doing a lot of fishing, maybe some camping. Hopefully some walking, not in the freaking darn boot. <laughs> Ollie, <clears throat> this message is for you, man. I'm disappointed. I'm just a pirate trying to find some fish and treasure. Maybe the next Ollie's. As always, I thank y'all so much for all the freaking support. All I got to say, man, is let's keep this going. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video you want to know just where